Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. I just wanted to jump on here um, and tell my testimony, first of all, and talk about you know how to lose weight and keep it off. So, first of all, um, I believe most people know my story, but um, so hang with me if you know the story. It's just a reminder. And um, I've always been, um, I've always battled obesity. So as a child, I was obese. I was not taught how to eat healthy. Um, I was raised on what I call honey buns and Dr. Pepper. And that was my favorite, favorite things that I would have. And I would have several a day, some, you know, some days, and I never drank water. So some days I would have just a ton of things, um, of, of honey buns and sugary filled foods and wasn't active. I didn't grow, I mean, I, I played outside. I wasn't one to sit around and just watch TV, but I just didn't do anything that was really strenuous. Um, so um, as a child, I battled obesity. I was made fun of and um, I was always the big girl. And um, I got into um, middle school, high school, and I started to um, starve myself because I started to be uncomfortable with the way I looked and the way I felt and I was tired of being made fun of. And so I, um, I started starving myself, uh, which messes up your metabolism, by the way. And we'll talk a little bit about that here in a minute. Um, and, you know, back then it, it kind of worked, but it wasn't a healthy way to do it. And I was never super, super thin. Um, going now fast forward until my adulthood and um, at my largest, I weighed 304 pounds. And that 304 pounds came on due to lack of activity. I did absolutely nothing. I ate anything and everything I, I could find. And um, I had a huge addiction with pastas and breads. So, you know, the bad carbs were my downfall. Um, I remember whenever I would cook a box of hamburger helper and that hamburger helper one box with one pound of ground beef in it was not enough. Um, I would have three or four helpings of everything I made. Um, we ate out a lot. And before, you knew, before I knew it, I was 304 pounds. Um, I remember thinking to myself, as long as I, I know this sounds horrible, but as long as I could see my toes when I stood up, I'd be fine. I wasn't thinking of what I was doing to my body health wise. And you know, I was, um, I had borderline high blood pressure. And then I also had, um, pre, I was pre-diabetic. So, you know, which diabetes and heart disease run in my family? Well, um, I decided after both of my parents died from illnesses, I felt like that they could have um, been more proactive on their health. Um, and it could have prolonged their life. I'm not saying it would have maybe kept them from ever passing away from that, but one died from cancer and then one died from um, a massive heart attack. And that was all before the age of 22. And that really set in with me. That, that was my, my smack in the face. You know, it was, it was time to do something because I didn't want to do that to my daughter. So um, I started reading, researching, learning everything I could about health, fitness, nutrition. Um, I, was, um, I was determined to do it the right way. I had done diet pills. I had been on diets. I had starved myself. Nothing worked long term. I might lose a little and then I gained twice as much back. So if that sounds familiar, think about it. It's just a vicious cycle. You can lose 30 pounds doing a strict diet, but the minute you get off of that diet, you're gonna gain what you lost plus more. And I hear it all the time. People call me all the time looking for help with weight loss and, and that's one of their main things. They're like, I've done it before, but for some reason, you know, I just, I, I gained it all back and, and plus more. That's, that's due to um, the way that we're treating our bodies. You know, you can't do it with those starvation diets and those crazy pills and wraps. But um, I decided uh, that I wanted to be healthy. It wasn't just to lose the weight. 
It wasn't because I was uncomfortable uncom in my own skin. I had no energy, I didn't feel good, and I just wanted to feel good, and I wanted to live longer. So I started just doing any, any kind of exercise that I knew how to. So, you know, walk around the block, walk um, up and down my street. Um, uh, my next door neighbor, she gave me a workout DVD, or well, it was actually a VHS, I believe. That was a long time ago. And it, um, it was Pilates and it had some other things on it. I decided to do just the Pilates part because it looked like it was just stretching and it looked easy. And um, I will tell you, it was not, um, but it became my favorite. So every single day I set out to do some type of e exercise. So I had a huge DVD collection. I just, I would buy them at garage sales and friends would give them to me. I never bought brand new ones because I was at the time and um, very poor. So I couldn't afford, you know, a trainer or a gym membership or any of that. Um, and I would, I, I actually would, get a sticky note and write the day of the week that I would do each of these videos. So um, I ended up having, I think over a two year span, I think I had 150 workout DVDs. So um, that was pretty exciting because I always had something new to do. I, I get bored easy. I, you know, I don't like that. I, then I won't do it. So I wanted to be fun and I wanted it to be something that I could stick to. So, um, I, and none of my friends at the time were active. None of them worked out. None of them ate healthy. None of them, um, they, they were supportive, but none of them did what I did. And I didn't care. I did it for me. I didn't care what they, what they were, you know, wanting or doing. And I just wanted to take care of me. So um, on exercise, that was what I did on exercise. On nutrition, I started to um, just eliminate things that I knew were bad. So, I mean, I knew pasta was not good for you. We know that. I knew that white bread was not okay. I knew cookies and cake and ice cream is not good for you. So I just stopped eating those bad things, first of all. Second of all, I actually would start um, portioning. I watched my portions. And I would make, instead of making my dinner or my lunches on a, a normal sized dinner plate, I would use a smaller plate, a saucer plate, a smaller, not saucer, but smaller plate. And I would fill it up and it gives you that illusion that you're eating more than what you are. So if you have portion control problems, that is a really awesome way to trick the mind and the stomach to, to thinking that you're eating way more than what you are. Um, you know, watching the portions was the biggest thing. And I, then I started to, to read and learn and, and more about nutrition. And once I did that, then I started adding in more fruits, more vegetables, started staying away from fried foods. Um, and it took me two years and I lost 180 pounds. It was not easy. Um, I mean, I, I had a whole lifetime of, of bad habits to break. And it took me two years to get to that goal weight of 100, and it was 135 pounds. It took me two years, but I never gave up. I always showed up for myself. It wasn't for anybody else. Um, I was a full-time worker, and I was a full-time mom and a wife. So I would get up before anybody else in the house, and I would do it before anybody could want something from me. And that worked for me. So um, if that's something that you need, think about it. If that's gonna keep you from making excuses, then do it that way. Get up early, go to bed just a little early. It only takes 30 minutes to 45 minutes to do a workout, you know, and um, especially if you will do them at home. You're, you don't have to leave the house, you get up, you can do it in your pajamas and you do it. You just do that workout, take your shower, you go on about your day and you're done. And um, that was one of the things that I changed. Another thing is, is when I, if I didn't get it in in the morning, say I overslept, and um, everybody knows I love my sleep. And um, if I overslept, I would um, come straight home from work and I would look, I would, you know, see my daughter, give her a hug and a kiss, tell my husband hi. And then I would say, give me 30 minutes, I'll be right back. And I would go straight into our spare room, shut the door and lock it and do a workout. And then they got 100% of my attention. 
but they, they at first it was tough, you know, little fingers under the door because she was two years old, three years old. You know, mama, what are you doing? But I, I would talk to her, but I would just keep going and I, I took that time for me. And after a little bit of time passed, it just became natural for them. If I was working out, it was fine. Then it got to where she was more interested, so then I included her in workouts where we would go to the playground or we'd go for a walk. Um, and it became more of a, a, a fun thing for us. And I wanted her to grow up thinking it was fun, not, not just a chore or just because you ate bad. It was to be healthy and it was fun. And, and, and it worked. So, you know, it, as she's grown up, she, she does like to exercise. Um, but when it comes to losing weight and keeping it off, I mean, I've kept it off now for, I think it's 19 years. Um, I still struggle. Yes, my weight goes up and down. I don't weigh every day because, you know, food weighs. And if you haven't gotten rid of it or used it all, your body's going to weigh more. And um, muscle weighs more than fat. So, you know, I work out quite a bit. So... It's just what it is. So I don't even weigh. I don't weigh. But I feel good. I'm happy with the way I look. And after 19 years, I still spend every day struggling that bad habit. So, you know, it'd be so much easier if I could just say, you know, I'm just not going to do anything. And um, I don't feel like it. And I have bad days where I do that. But I don't stay there because if I do one day, then I want two days and I want three days and I want four days and then it becomes a cycle. And I, I refuse to go back to feeling bad and being unhealthy. And after all this work I put in, because I, I know how hard it is and I'm not saying that losing weight is easy, um, but you can do it the right way and you can keep it off. The right way to lose weight is exercise, and it doesn't matter what kind of exercise. You know, don't listen to all that mumbo jumbo on the, the social media or online or wherever. Um, if you want to dance, dance. If you want to walk, walk. If you want to do strength training, do it. Do something. Make sure it's something you love. And you want to do at, at least five days of exercise. Make it a habit. Do it the same time every day. Do it the same time, you know, each week. Whatever you have to do to make it become a habit. So don't, don't think that you have to do it one way or the other. Everybody's body is different. So if you're struggling to lose weight and you think you're doing exactly what you need to do, it could be that your nutrition isn't, linking up with the type of workout you're doing. And that happens. If you are running marathons, but you're, or you are, and you're still not losing weight, but you're eating good, but you're only eating, you know, a thousand calories, you're not eating enough. You have to eat to fuel the body. That's the hardest thing for people to understand. Food is not your enemy. Food is, food is our fuel. That's what, that's what makes us go. That and water which you should drink a lot of that as well. But, you know, to keep, to, to lose weight and keep it off, exercise five, five days a week. Don't do the same thing every day. You wanna alternate different things. That way your body keeps guessing. Walking is free and it's amazing for helping you to lose weight. It's good for your health. It's good for um, diabetics. It's good for people like me with rheumatoid arthritis. I mean, the good Lord gave us feet. We can walk, you know, and, and I have even met people that have, uh, you know, one leg and they do a lot of walking. So, you know, there's, there, there's ways to do this to keep it off. So five days of exercise on your nutrition, don't eliminate things that you love. Okay, that doesn't mean eat cake every day, doesn't mean eat ice cream every day, doesn't mean you need to eat chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, and gravy for dinner. Um, do really good five days a week. Say the same days you exercise. Five days, you're going to do really good. You're going to eat three meals that are healthy per day, not one. Don't starve yourself. 
You're gonna include healthy grains, you're gonna include vegetables, you're gonna include fruit, and you're gonna have healthy, healthy, healthy protein, lean protein. Those are the things that are, are good for you. Our body needs them. And it's okay to have bread as long as it's wheat or whole grain. I use, um, since I have celiac disease, I use other, other things, but um, there's even gluten-free bread that's whole grain and that's good. It's good for your heart. It's really good for your heart. So you're gonna do that five days. On two days, allow yourself those things that you normally don't eat. So let's say Saturday comes and you know you're gonna be around family and you want, you want to have alcoholic drinks or you want to have um, lasagna or you want to eat pizza, eat it. And then say, you know, I did so great this week. I, that is not undoing the work you do during the week. If you keep doing that, if you keep eating that way, that will undo it. But that is not going to undo the work you did that week before. You can take two days to do that. I have found that I actually don't cheat, I call them cheat days, they're not really cheat days, but um, kind of more like prize days, but um, I have found I just don't do as bad because I don't like the way those foods make me feel anymore. Um, just recently, I, I was just craving, uh, it's crazy, I was craving pancakes, bacon and eggs, um, and I had my husband make me, he's such a great cook and so sweet, but he made gluten-free pancakes. I put peanut butter on it, lots of peanut butter, not a little, a lot of peanut butter. And then I put real, really bad syrup all over it. I had like, I don't know, four or five pieces of bacon and two or three eggs. So, you know, and I, I don't usually eat large meals that way, but, and I don't eat a lot of sugar. But it was so good because I, I just felt like I just wanted it. And that's what we had for dinner. The next day, I went back to eating good. And I'm glad I had that. And I've already told him that I want to have that for dinner again soon. So, you know, it's not like we do it all the time. But maybe once a week is fine. You know, now if you're drinking Dr. Pepper all day long and you're adding all these extra calories that way and you're not exercising, it's not good. So um, in order to keep the weight off as you're losing it, you have to find something that's sustainable. The exercise that fits with your life, that you enjoy, that you look forward to, and a proper way of eating where you're not feeling deprived, where you're not starving yourself and then binging. Those are your key. The key to that. Don't spend all this money on all these pills and wraps and shakes when that's not going to keep you from gaining weight back. Even, even these really strict, strict diets that everybody thinks are so great that I've seen people lose, you know, 30, 40, 50, even 100 pounds on. But as soon as they stop doing that, they're going to start gaining it right back. So whatever you do, it needs to be a lifestyle change that you're not going to stop doing. You're going to do it for the rest of your life. And you're going to struggle and you're going to have days where your weight goes up five pounds or three pounds and then it goes back down. It, it's just the way it is. Our bodies are just set up that way. So drink lots of water that flushes the body and, and the toxins and our body needs that to function properly. So that is my key and it, it's soup. It really is super simple. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't, it's not even so much about counting calories or macros or, you know, being on a keto diet or being that you're taking these three pills or whatever to lose weight. Just don't overcomplicate it. Feed your body good, healthy food and your body's going to work with you. It's going to be, but you're going to have a better immune system, which we all need right now more than anything. We need to, to eat properly. Stop eliminating all these, these you know, food groups because you think that fruit's bad for you or, or vegetables. They're not. Your body needs that. It's the vitamins that we need. The vitamins and minerals and the food that we eat are what are going to keep us healthy. Plus, you're going to lose weight while you're eating it. I mean, it doesn't get any better. It's like a win-win situation. And exercise also boosts your immune system. 
So, you know, find what works for you. And if you need help, I'm here. Um, it does not cost to schedule a consultation with me. It's a free consultation. And I don't mind answering questions. Um, but don't overcomplicate it. It's really more simple than what you make it to be. I know New Year's, New Year's resolution time is coming up. And that's kind of a taboo thing for me. And um, I don't really like New, New Year's resolutions. I have New Year's goals. So I have goals that I go, I set myself for the year, but it's never weight loss or never, you know, do this or do that. It's usually something to do um, with uh, emotional or mental um, health of, of myself. So think of that. Don't make it a New Year's resolution to lose, you know, 50 pounds or 20 pounds. Just, you know, think about what you need other than that. When it comes to what we've just went through for 2020, 2021, we have to go into it with, with um, our health, with our immune system being high, with our brain being functioning properly, thinking clearly, and being ready to take on whatever else life wants to throw at us. So, you know, like I said, and I could talk all day long about this, but like I said, it's not as complicated as you think. Just don't set yourself up from failure at the very beginning so don't do those crazy diets. Please don't do those crazy pills. Um, and another video I can talk about, but I do have a heart condition because I did diet pills. And um, yeah, I lost weight during it, but it was killing people. So, um, and I still have issues with that. But don't, please don't do all that. Don't waste your money on something that's not gonna last. Your life is so much more precious than that. And you deserve to feel healthy and happy and have that energy and feel good in your skin. You deserve that. So don't overcomplicate it. Do exercise five days a week, any that you like that's healthy for you. And eat good five days a week. Don't skip meals. Don't starve yourself. Don't eliminate foods. And then have your two cheat days. I promise you it works. If you don't believe me, you can ask all the clients I have that are just killing it right now, like just killing it. I would love to add up how much weight and in inches has been lost in this year for my clients because I think it's going to be astronomical this year. They've done really great even through a pandemic. So, you know, there, there's no excuses. You just have to learn what is right for you and, and, and do it. Set your mind to it. Don't do the fast quick fix. Do it the right way. And if you have questions, I am here. I'm going to do live videos every Wednesday at 530. So I hope to see you here. And if you would, please um, share, share, share. Let other people know what I have to say and, you know, invite them to listen to me at 530 on Wednesdays. So I'll be posting about my next topic soon. Hope you have a great evening and I will see you all next week.